We've learned the identity of the 16-year-old girl who was shot and killed inside an apartment unit in Conroe. A family member tells us the victim is Reagan Faff. Uh, two men have already been charged in connection with the incident. Channel 2's Sophia Beausoleil is live from Conroe where the shooting happened. Sophia. Well, Keith, the investigation is still ongoing, and they're trying to figure out how many people were inside the apartment. What was the motive behind this? Investigators told us today that they are still interviewing people, which is why they're not saying too much when it comes to what exactly happened earlier this week. As for Reagan's family, they are devastated, and a close family friend says that her parents need help because they're out of state and they're trying to get back, and they don't have a lot of money right now. 16-year-old Reagan Pfaff was going to be a junior at Montgomery High School this fall, but on Tuesday afternoon, her life was cut short. Disbelief, shock, anger, uh, too young. And like I said, no parent should have to bury a child. Rob Turner is a close family friend and knows the Pfaff family through the Renaissance Festival community. No parent should ever have to go through what they're going through. Conroe police say 19-year-old Matthew Davis was handling a gun inside an apartment unit at the Anatole at the Pines apartment complex. It's under investigation as to what led up to the shooting, but he's been charged with murder and manufacture or delivery of a controlled substance. 19-year-old Joseph Wilson was also charged with tampering with physical evidence and possession of a controlled substance. I'm biased. Uh, they were involved in taking a life that never should have been taken. I hope they get everything that the law can lawfully give them. Now the focus is on helping the 16-year-old's parents and sister get back to Texas. They're really good friends of ours, and I just didn't like the feeling that I was sitting on my hands. Rob set up a GoFundMe account for the family who recently moved to Alaska and just two months ago had to bury a grandparent. These are good people. They didn't deserve this. Now, when it comes to the reason why Reagan was here, she was staying with her grandfather. Her dad told me via social media that that's who she was living with at the time. She was supposed to start school again right up here in the fall. Now, the family is working to get back to Texas so they can do what they need to do to take care of their daughter. Now, if you are interested in helping them out, we will put a link on our on our website, click to Houston.com, and we'll have that for you after the newscast. Reporting live from Conroe, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. It's a troubling story, Sophia. Thank you.